Hello folks, welcome back to my channel if you have been here before and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is called Bummer's Reef. I am Tanner and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I draw NFTs, my alien NFT collection called Crazy Alien Party, which is linked right here and it'll also be down in the description box below but I'm gonna show you how I draw all of these characters by hand in this collection just using a simple iPad and Procreate it's really that simple if you have an understanding of Procreate this is great if you don't follow along I'm sure you'll be able to catch on very quickly it's a very easy app to get a hold of and before I start any of that I'd like to give a big shout out to potato commandos NFT they are on OpenSea and they have their own website I will leave everything um, of their links down below in the description box as well they're on Twitter they're on pretty much anything you can think of they just make these awesome cool potato collectibles but anyway they have a great team I've been in touch with some of them and they are just awesome people they'll give you help with anything from smart contracts on like the ERC 721 and all that like mumbo jumbo stuff like all this coding and everything that computer nerds like no yeah not me I am definitely not savvy with any of that stuff if you need help with that stuff get a hold of them and their team they are great they will do stuff for you they'll help you out and they're just great people a great team look into them they're awesome but anyway I'm gonna show you how to take your iPad procreate and you are going to need a stylus this is like the it zooms in if it focuses I think it's like the, the newer stylus super easy super fun super cool I will show you guys how to do all of my crazy alien collection drawings right now so let's get into it all right going to the procreate app and scrolling down to an alien that I have made for all of the layouts. He is the one that I reference all the time. His name is Ned, and I'm gonna duplicate him, and I'm gonna go to all the layers, and I'm going to hide all of the colors. And once I have that done, I'm gonna take the opacity of the black outline. I'm gonna take them down to where it's um, kind of hard to see, but enough so you can still see it. Create a new layer and put it on the very top, and this is where I'm going to do my sketching of my new character. And I'm going to go to the sketching brush and just take a normal pencil. Whatever one you like is fine. And I'm just going to go start roughing out the shape of the head. I like to use um, the head as a reference point. I like to start with the head first. It just makes it easier for me when I am making these to figure out kind of what I'm going for for an idea if I start with the head first. And with all of my aliens I make, I really don't have a plan as to what I'm doing until I get going. I just kind of like to make them free will and just kind of see how they turn out while I'm going on through the process. I'm going to refine some of these lines and make a few more details and sharpen up these edges just to get a better reference point for later on. And of course, got to do an antenna up top to show that he's an alien. And start with the body. And when I was doing this, I figured I would try to make an alien slash skeleton, like a half and half, where he's missing parts of his body, and other parts are his alien self, and the other parts are his skeleton underneath. And I have no clue about anatomy. I, I missed that day in science class, so I am sorry if I screw up any bone structures or anything like that. But I'm just having fun, just doing things as I think they should look and how it looks best to me. And generally, I like to work from the head down when I'm doing all these um, these beginning sketches. It just helps me get a better understanding of what the alien will look like 
throughout the process instead of jumping from um, one end of his body to the other. I like to go on a flowing motion from the top to the bottom. Make his ribs and his vertebrae here. And going down to the legs. And I do my best when I'm doing something like this to not make everything um, mirrored, to not make it proportional to each side. I like to make each side kind of different and just give it a different look throughout the whole character and the whole alien. Okay, then I'm going to go and hide that initial outline layer and then I'm gonna take the opacity of my sketch layer down to once again where you can um, barely see it but enough where you can see it to start making your outline in the hard black and I will leave the link to this pen that I'm using this brush on Procreate um, in the description below so if you like it um, feel free to go check it out I got it free and I think it might still be free um, I love how this looks it, it just has like this comic book look to it um, for the outlining and I think it looks awesome. And with these aliens, what I like about this pen that I'm using, this brush, is that with this rough outline, it just makes it look more distinguished and more unique with each one, that it's not a hard line each time, it, it just has a lot of variation to it. And that way you don't have to be so precise and all this either. It's more of a drawing and a character sketch than it is, um, you know, defined lines and, and hard, hard lines. You don't have to get very fancy with this brush either. You can really just have fun with it and not worry about um, if it's perfect and worry about perfection each time because the imperfections, to me, are what make it so cool and unique and so unlike anything else. And as always with brushes, just play around, whatever you like. Um, what might be good for me might not be good for you. It, it's all to you and the artist as to what you like. So if you have another brush, um, feel free to use it. This is just what I use. It just is easy for me and is what I've been used to. Okay, now that I got the outline done, I'm going to add a new layer, and this is where I'm going to start coloring. But first I'm going to delete all of these reference colors of my original alien, so I have just a more clean workspace, really. And I'm going to go with a kind of a greenish, yellowish kind of color, and I'm using the Calligraphy Mono Line Brush, and this just helps me know that I get a clean color inside the lines each time. Add a new layer and go for the skeleton part now, all the bones, and I'm going to go with a, a really soft cream color, kind of a yellowish tint. 
something not white because I'm going to do highlights coming up as you will see. And if you do white now, there will be no room for highlights on this. So this will just make um, the dimensions look a little better and add a little depth to it. I'm going to add a new layer and do underneath his eyes and his um, nostril part. And I'm going to go with a darker green than what the skin is. You don't want to make this black because I will show you coming up, we're going to make this look like his eyes are sunken in. And over here, I'm going to do one eye that's in, so I have the other eye that's out. And I'm just using a softer white, kind of a grayish white for those in his mouth. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the color of green on his skin and go with a little dustier, lighter color and find a nice texture to go over the whole skin just to make it look um, detailed, to give it some character. And I'm going to go with just the charcoal section and just lightly graze over it just to give it a little bit of feel and a little bit of texture to his skin so it's not just green. We're going to add a new layer above that and do a clippy mask and do a shadow portion. And I don't like to do just black. I like to do like a purplish bluish black just to give it a little more color and saturation. You're going to take that opacity, slide it down to about 30, anywhere between 25 and 30 will work. And then you're going to go around the shadow areas of his skin. really add some depth to this character and really start to bring it to life. You get a cool look and um, a cool visual rep representation of what he's going to start to look like now. And then you're going to do the same thing you just did. Add a new layer, clipping mask, and take that opacity down to whatever you feel best and do just plain white and then do all the highlights. And this will really set the tone for what the character is going to start to look like. It really starts to give you some dimension and some depth. Then you're going to go to the skeleton part and do the same thing. Add a layer above it, clipping mask, 25 to 30% opacity, that same shadow color, and do the same thing you were doing, but now with the skeleton portion. And you don't have to do highlights all the time, but I do see and feel that shadows really help bring out the depth in a character. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but this time with white again and make some highlights. Go up to the plain white and start drawing your highlights on the skeleton and the bones. And this part is going to be the cool part. So where I said his eyes before, we're going to take a layer above his green part in the eye and we're going to clip mask that, take the opacity down and start to make this cool like sunken in look on his eyes. So we're going to add another layer above that, same color, less opacity this time. So it's going to be more opaque and then do the same thing, clippy mask above that layer and then one more circle down there to make it really look like his eyes are sunken in and do the same exact thing with his nostrils. This just really helps give it depth to make it look like there's so much space in his head. And then this is my favorite part. We're gonna do the shadows on the eye and the teeth. And with this, you take the same color for the shadow and start to make that color on the eye or the drop shadow, make it look round. And then the teeth is one of my favorite part because this really makes it just blend in and makes it look cool. I don't know, it's just awesome to me. Same thing with this, except for the highlight now. And then what we're gonna do in the eye is we're gonna make it look like he's got some um, blood veins in his eyes bloodshot eyes so we're gonna take the water pen brush and that is in the elements uh, section I believe and just lightly drag over the eye and that'll really give it that like bloodshot look and mess around with some sizes and some opacity on the brush 
You don't want to go overboard in this, just kind of subtle because it'll 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 look good in the final result if you don't go overboard. And then we're going to do another layer and make the pupil with that same comic brush that I used before for the outline. And we're going to add another layer underneath that. And this is going to be the color of the pupil or the iris. I'm not good with anatomy. I told you that before, so I'm sorry if I'm getting these words and these terms wrong. But I'm going to go with a nice, cool purple look to his eye. Just something different, something to match the green a little bit. And then you're going to take lighter shades and keep going around to the inside of the eye. And then you're going to take your perspective blur. You're going to go right into the center of his eye, zoom in and drag your pen across the screen and really just make it look like it's kind of bursting through his eye. Just to give it a nice little texture and a nice blur to it so it doesn't look so hard and defined. Then we're gonna add another layer on top of all that and go white to make it look like, you know, the reflection of light on his eye. Then on that layer, we're gonna take the gauze and blur and just lightly put a little blur on it just to soften the edges of it. Next, we're creating a new layer. And this is for the cracks in the skeleton and the bones. You don't need to do this, but I just like adding in some little fine details. It just makes the piece stand out and look so much more cool in the end. Once again, you don't want to go overboard with this, but just play around with it, have fun. And then on top of that, on your outline layer, just take a black pen that same brush you're using before for the outline and just go and make the cracks a little bit bigger towards the outline. This just helps make it look like the cracks are bigger. And then on that same shadow layer that you use for the skeleton, you're gonna click that and you're just gonna kind of make some indents around some of the cracks just to make them look like they're set in so they match the rest. And then lastly, what you're gonna do I added this around the back of his torso just to make it look more three-dimensional and more cool, add some more depth so it's not just plain. And after that, lastly, what I like to do is just change the background color to whatever you think necessary. I'm gonna go with probably something more purple to match his eyes. And then I have a layer already made above that of a blurred kind of like ombre burst in the middle of the canvas. And then what I like to do is just find that color that I use for the background, go to my calligraphy pen, take a big monoline brush, and I screwed up here. What I like to do is just take a lighter color from the background and just go over that and make it look set in and just give it a nice little touch in the back. And there you have it. One cool skeleton alien NFT made and ready to list on your site. Look at this guy, he's so cool. Just the detail and everything, I just, I love it. It's just great. It is so, so great. All right, and there you have it. One awesome, crazy alien skeleton green dude. Whatever you wanna call him. Um, he is done. I will leave the link to that NFT and that alien down in the description box below and I might even add it right here if I know what I'm doing on this YouTube thing. If you like this alien I've made, please go check him out and go check out all my other stuff on OpenSea. Also feel free to go check out my website artbytannerlee.com. I will leave that link as well in the description box below. And my website has all my stuff on it from my portfolio of graphic design stuff and cool logos I've done and the people I've worked for as well as my NFTs and my Etsy shop and all my like paintings and what it just it has everything on it and just go check out my stuff spread the word share this with anybody um, comment 
anything you might have, any questions, anything you liked, anything you didn't like, whatever. Just comment it down below. Um, I'll try my best to get back with you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, if you're new here, subscribe to my channel. I'll have more videos soon. Um, I don't know what they're gonna be about. I just do this stuff for fun. So if you have any suggestions for videos, please let me know and I will try to do something. We made this cool alien today. I mean, yeah, that's awesome. And if you need help listing NFTs on OpenSea or anything else, check out my other videos. I have some videos showing you how to do that as well. Anyway, I will quit babbling and I will let you guys get back to whatever it was you were doing. So thank you guys for stopping. Hope to see you guys again soon in my next video and my other videos. And so long. Peace.